So customer centric approach. The client has to be central to everything you do. This is the reason why you're doing this. It's not about you. Of course, yes, in the background, there's you, but you've got to serve clients. Yeah. And then you will be also rewarded and your staff will be rewarded as well. So companies should understand their target audience and create experiences that meet their needs and preferences. So for example, if you're looking to work with a care home, for example, what needs do you think that care manager or that director or senior staff member is needing from you? What is it that you can provide them with so that when they use your service that you've provided them with a good outcome and that outcome for them is going to be the transformation that they're going to have is that a they could be facing stress at the moment and they're short of staff and their staff are burnt out because they're overworking because they're covering shifts so you could be going in to help alleviate that stress to provide them with that cover that they need so that they are able to focus on the day-to-day -day aspect with you helping them to cover certain shifts or maybe you want to provide permanent temporary it all depends on what you're providing if you're providing accommodation then the patients and service users in that adults in that accommodation need to receive a good outcome it needs to be what was agreed with them in the care plan, for example. Excellent. You can hear me great. So, companies, like I said, should understand their target audience and create experiences that meet their needs and preferences.